We are sitting down with Erin from Children with Cancer UK to talk to us a little bit about how the charity works. Erin, can you tell us about the mission of your charity and the work you do for families going through cancer? Our mission is to help ensure that every child who gets a cancer diagnosis doesn't only survive their cancer diagnosis, but thrives afterwards and doesn't suffer the long-term side effects of treatments that they currently get. We do that and we support our families through this difficult time by funding critical research into childhood cancer and how we can improve the treatments for those as well. We also provide a community space for our patient families to get together to speak to people who understand what they're going through. And we are also going to be funding uh, grants so that they can stay closer to hospitals. Okay, I bet that's absolutely invaluable for the people that live so far away from these big major hospitals that these children need to visit. Yes, and it's a huge cost to the family as yeah. well. They're already going through such a difficult time, mm -hmm. the emotional cost, let alone the financial yes. cost. Yeah. So anything we can do to help our families get through it in any mm -hmm. way we can, we're going to try and do. Deb was just mentioned earlier about using almost adult medication and watering it down for children. Is that something that you as a charity are helping research is actually creating medicines and treatments specifically for children? A hundred percent. We're trying to tailor these treatments to children as much as possible. Mm -hmm. What types of support services do you offer families? We help our families stay near the hospital where their ch child is receiving treatment so mm -hmm. they can be together. We offer days out for our families where they can create these memories together, have a lovely time. We've done Harry Potter Studios in the past. We did Disney on Ice last year. And just seeing the families be together in a fun, safe environment, mm. it's a very special thing to see. And then additionally, we're opening a treat up in Yorkshire for our patient families to go away on holiday. Wow, that's really special. And I guess traveling abroad isn't an option for most of these families. And I guess you have to make adaptations to the accommodation for them. So that will all be done ready. Exactly. And it's in a secluded countryside where, you know, the kids can go and really explore it together. And yeah, some of the cottages are going to be tailor-made to be as accessible as possible. Oh, so exciting. What are some of the long-term goals for your charity that you're really excited about? We are really excited to tell as many patient family stories as possible to mm -hmm. really raise awareness. How do you spread the word about patient families? We do the usual digital marketing mm -hmm. through social media and we have a film coming out soon, a documentary. Wow. And a couple of our patient families are actually taking part in the documentary. It's amazing to see these children get to tell their own story yeah. because so often they, they aren't the authors of their own stories. We at Abilene are so pleased to be working alongside the charity to help raise awareness. What does this partnership mean to your charity? So, I mean, we're so grateful for the partnership. It's amazing to be chosen by you guys in, just to help raise awareness and funds for the important work that we do. For us, it's very much about how individual Abbott Lion is. You see people as individuals, and that's so important to us as well. Mm -hmm. No child and no family is going through the same thing. They don't have the same stories. Mm -hmm. And your jewellery is a way to, for people to tell their own stories and to make everything a bit more individual. How do partnerships like this help Children with Cancer UK fulfil its mission? Well, there's the obvious side of helping us raise funds that mm -hmm. we can then give to research but then there's the softer side of helping us raise awareness which I don't think people understand is so vital to our mission. Yeah, the course. more people that know about what we're doing and mm -hmm. why we're trying to do it the more people will try and help and the more our patient families will be supported in the journey that they're going through. Can you talk about the importance of community and corporate partnerships in sustaining your work? Community and corporate partnerships help sustain and expand everything that we're trying to do at the moment. And it really helps us further all of our work in research, in raising awareness, in supporting our patient families and just being there for the people that need us most. How can people get involved or support your mission beyond purchasing Abbott Lyons Charm? In addition to purchasing the charm, they can do anything from bake sales in their local schools or their offices to nominating us as a corporate partner as well mm -hmm. with their own companies and then participating in any of the amazing sporting events that we have going all across the country, anything from the London Marathon to the Great North Run. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I personally am not much of a sports person, so <laughs> I'd much prefer a bake sale. So anything you can think of, there's a way to raise money. I mean, I once did a sponsored silence in the office and that actually went down very well. Oh, I think we've managed to raise a decent chunk of money, which really tells good. you a lot about me. <laughs>